Edward Munch, The Scream, is one of the most recognizable pieces of art in history, and despite being over 130 years old, it couldn't be more relevant today. I did some extensive research on the meaning and story behind the painting, and concluded that Munch is just a nerdy artist that experienced a mental breakdown because he had to go outside. Yeah, that sounds like every modern digital artist to me. I also found out that he created four different versions of The Scream in different art styles. Styles, which means he probably won't mind if I do a fifth one. So in this video I recreated the scream in 3D. Let's get into it. First we need to make a plan. I have to build the pier, the landscape, the main character Edward Munch, the sky, the two boats and lastly his two friends in the background. So let's launch Blender and get to work. To make the pier, I started by modeling some planks and then I textured them by mixing two different wood materials. Next, I built the floor and the railing. I used the real painting as a camera background to match the perspective and layout of the image. Which was a little tricky to line up at first, but it worked pretty well at the end. Well, and that's a pier. For the landscape in the background, I used a very, very large plane and sculpted some hills as well as the lake. Now the hardest part, the foreground character. First, I blocked out the basic shape and then I subdivided the model to make it smoother and I sculpted a face. For the clothes, I just duplicated the body and used a cloth brush to make it look like fabric. But hold on, we have to do something about these hands. I swear, sculpting hands is impossible. So I went back to the scene file from the last video and stole some hands. I'm sorry, Ferb. Then I replaced the old hands. In the painting, he's wearing this golden bracelet, so I made that. Now we need some textures. I perhaps did the worst UV unwrap ever and then launched Substance Painter. Here I gave him a realistic skin material and added some skin imperfections to make it look more realistic. I gave his shirt a fabric material and matched the color to the painting. For the eyes I used the free Tiny Eyes Assets pack and picked the one that looked most fitting. That looks pretty scary, well just like the original painting. The material for the landscape in the background is basically just a sand texture. To add a little bit more detail, I placed these scanned ground pieces from Quixel behind the pier. To recreate the glowing sky from the painting, I had two options. I could either find a matching HDRI on the internet, or I could use real volumetric clouds. But I couldn't really find anything that looked impressive enough, and my PC didn't like the idea of having to render a whole sky of 3D volumetric clouds. Luckily there's a third option, AI. So I used the Photoshop AI to generate a dramatic sunset and if a part of the image wasn't dramatic enough I told the AI to make it more dramatic. Once I was happy with the sky I expanded the image to get some more resolution and then I placed it into the scene. Because I wasn't quite satisfied with the area behind the pier I placed a dead tree, some bushes, grass and a few rocks in the background. Next up were the boats. I didn't spend that much time modeling the boats because they're really far away so no one will notice. For the two people on the left of the frame, I downloaded two characters from Mixamo, modeled a hat and put them in place. Lastly, I built a little scene to show off my version of the painting. Well, and that's basically it. After 10 hours of rendering, I finally had a finished result. 